So now we're going to be discussing editing your contours. Now we have the path still up, our operation still generated from the last video, editing your start points. So, but what I'm going to do is um, delete this. And now I want to bring attention to, we do have this undo option, which can be very helpful. I can undo the changes I made to those start points just by clicking back through it a number of times. If I go back far enough, I'll get back to the original, basically. So on this operation, I'm going to right click and it's going to give me the option to delete the operation. So now we're back to the same way it was when we imported the file. Okay. Now when you import a file into SheetCam, if you have it all on one layer, SheetCam will cut everything that's on that layer. Okay. In SheetCam, you cannot change the size of an object. Okay. And you can't erase parts of an object. But what you can do is tell it to cut part of a file and not other parts. Okay. So with everything on one layer, when I generate an operation, it will cut everything on that layer. Okay. And according to which type of offset I select. Okay. So in order to um, say, let's say I wanted to cut just this bracket here and not the other bracket. With it all on one layer, I can't tell SheCam to do that. What I have to do is select this bracket here and put it on its own layer. And then I'll be able to generate an operation just for that layer. To do that, you go into the Edit Contours mode, which is the C here, or if you go to Mode, basically Edit Contours right here. So now in this mode, when I hover close to a contour, you can see it highlights. Okay. So there's a couple different ways to select things. So if I hold down the control button and hover over something, I can left click and select it. When I move away, it stays selected. Okay. I can continue to do that to the other parts of this file that I want to select. Okay. Now if I do the same thing, hold down control and go click on a contour, it deselects. Now when I move away, it turns back to yellow. Okay. You can also click and drag a box around something. Okay. Um, so now I can hold down control and drag another box and add to that selection, basically. So I got these selected down here. If I click and drag a box around those, now that has been added to that selection. And lastly, if I hold down control and then click on the perimeter, now the whole object selected. Okay. So different ways that you can select things. In addition to the drawing a box and holding on control and selecting individual contours, if you right click, you have options here. You can select all from all layers. You can select all open contours from all layers, all closed contours, all holes. Okay. So in, in our case, it's not helpful, but let's say you were going to select all the holes so that you could run it in a different, different set of parameters. You could do that by using this option. Okay. So with this selected, I can right click and I will have these options up here. Move to layer, copy to layer. Generally, you're going to be using the move to layer option. So I can move to layer and select new layer and name it what I want. This is the one I want to cut. So now I have two layers over here. If I uncheck either one, they'll disappear. Once you create a layer, you can't delete it, okay? But you can make it empty or have nothing on it. 
Okay. So just for this, let's uncheck that default layer. And now we have the part we want to cut out. I want to cut this out. I simply go operation, plasma cut. I'm going to stick with the outside offset. I'm going to pick my part to cut layer. And I'm going to click OK. And now it generates an operation for just that part. Okay. So that's a way that you can use your edit, editing your contours to modify what you have on the screen. Okay. Um, you know, let's say this was a large nest. I pulled it up and I decided that I only want to cut out one part of that nest. Well, I don't have to cut the whole nest. I can select that part I want, move it to its own layer, and then generate an operation just for that part. Okay. So I'm going to use the undo tool to move back to our original situation where we have one layer. As you can see, we're back to the original situation. No operation. If I click on this layer here, nothing disappears because it's all back on the default layer. Okay. Now once I've created this, I can't delete this layer. But what I've done is I made it empty. And so it won't cut out. Okay. So that's using the edit contours option. You know, basically um, it's just about being able to move things from the original layer to another layer to either cut it or not cut it.